And welcome back to the Sports Wrap. Joining me now, Nick Fryer. He is a baseball writer for the New Bedford Standard Times. Nick, thanks for coming in. Let's start with this. 2016 spring training about underway. Uh, once the Red Sox fully get on the field for good, what will be the first thing that you'll be really zeroing in on? First thing I'm looking at is Pablo Sandoval and Hanley Ramirez. How are they going to do? Hanley Ramirez is in a new position. Pablo Sandoval, we all heard today, he's still out of shape, not looking good. And everybody's real cause for concern for the Red Sox right now. Uh, Hanley Ramirez trying to make that transition to first base. Red Sox pitchers and catchers, by the way, they're already there. Position players are supposed to report in full by Tuesday. At that time, you know, Hanley Ramirez, he'll be all in trying to get to first base and, and really settle in there. How confident are you that he'll be able to do that and do it in a timely manner? I think Hanley can make that adjustment. You know, the thing is with first base is a lot of people say it's a very difficult position. If you watch Moneyball, they say it's a very difficult position to learn. But Hanley Ramirez was a shortstop. He's got good hands. My biggest issue with him is he's going to hurt himself stretching for a bad throw at first base, especially if Pablo Sandoval is throwing it. That's where I'm going to be worried. Is he going to pull that hamstring? Is something weird going to happen with him? But I think he can handle the position. I think he can get those picks in the dirt that you're going to need. He's got those soft hands. That's the big thing for Hanley. Now, you mentioned Sandoval's weight. He said a lot of the right things when he met with reporters on Sunday morning. How concerned are you with Pablo and his readiness? Well, my issue with Pablo is he's saying that he's, not, he's going to continue to switch hit. And if you look at his numbers, last year as a righty, he hit below 200, below 100 against left-handed hitters. And then he went lefty on lefty. He was hitting around 250. He, he can hit lefty both sides of the plate. Everybody knows that he's better left-handed than right-handed. He needs to make that right decision and just bat left-handed from now on. Yeah, Sandoval said it was a confidence thing. He lost confidence. He feels like he can get it back and produce from the right side of the plate. Now, one guy who has produced uh, even at an advanced age as far as baseball goes is David Ortiz. He's in his last year of his career. He'll retire after the season. Do you think he will still be David Ortiz this year? I think at first we might see a little bit of David Ortiz aging, but I think as the season goes along, he'll get at second wind, he'll figure things out, and he'll get going. We you know, last year he stopped playing first base because he was worried about his contract and getting the money, and he was getting a lot of criticism for it. Now we might not see that issue if David's asked to play first, you know, if Hanley starts struggling again. Um, I think David's going to be all in this year. It's his last year, and I think he wants it. He's hungry for it. John Farrell back steering the ship for the Red Sox. Obviously, Tori Lavello was in there uh, while Farrell was out getting um, treated for cancer. So it's great to see Farrell back with the Red Sox. But will that create some kind of adjustment period for the players that were kind of rolling for a little bit under Tori Lavello and now have to readjust to John Farrell being their leader? Well, one thing about John Farrell is he can get along with anybody. In my interactions with him, he's a class act. He's a great guy. And if Lavello's, Lavello's his boy, then they're going to get along well. They won't have any issues, in my opinion. And he'll get those other guys to buy in because Tori cares about him. He cares about Tori. And as long as the players understand that and realize there's no friction there, then they shouldn't have any problems. Bigger picture, AL East, one of the primary or the primary rival, I should say, for the Red Sox, the New York Yankees. They also did some things this offseason and, like the Red Sox, really beefed up that bullpen. If you had to choose now, which bullpen do you like better going into 2016? I'm taking the Red Sox bullpen every day of the week. You know, some people will say the Yankees have three closers. They have Batances, they have Andrew Miller, and obviously Araldis Chapman. And I respect those guys, and they are great. However, Koji Ohara, he is very versatile. We've seen that in 2013, and now that he's going to have a slightly lesser role on the team, I think you're going to see him have a lot more success. Junichi Tozawa got tired as the year went along, but if you look at that bullpen last year, I mean, who else are you going to put in besides him or Koji? And Koji was hurt a lot of the time. So those guys are going to have success once again, in my opinion. And then if you look at, um, if you look at Craig Kimbrell, he's the best in the game. I will take Craig Kimbrell against Araldis Chapman any day of the week. Kimbrell has a better career save percentage. He's pitched on better teams, and he's not afraid to pitch in, in the really close games. And he, he was saying that the other day that he wants to be out there. He wants to be in those tight situations. He is ready to go and fired up. And obviously the bullpen, very important, especially in the postseason. Just look at the Kansas City Royals from last year. Mm -hmm. uh, before we let you go, who would you say right now is the favorite in the American League East? I'm going to have to go with the Red Sox. People can say what they want. But as long as Hanley Ramirez is okay at first base, I think we have Brock Holt to slip, slip in for Sandoval if he's not uh, holding up his end of the bargain. And I think everything else is going to be A-OK. -okay. Should be interesting. Obviously, the Blue Jays, a team that you have to worry about as well. That was a team that was very well stocked last year. We'll see what they can do this year. Nick Fryer from the New Bedford Standard Times joining us here talking baseball. Yanni will be back with more rap after this.